Hey everybody, welcome back to Trial and Error and Happy New Year. Part of the new year I decided that I'm finally going to get in front of the camera and you won't just have to look at my hands. Uh, sorry this is my face, it's as good as it gets. I know I'm disappointed too, but either way that shouldn't take away from our, our content or our videos here. So as you can see I am uh, balls deep in a bathroom renovation and I thought this would be a good opportunity to cover some GFI basics. So we're going to talk about what a GFI outlet is, what it does, how it actually protects, and then of course how to install them. And I'm going to show you two different options. One is a breaker based GFI outlet and the second one is more of your standard wall outlet GFI. So we're going to look at both of those options and how to install them and what the differences are and that type of thing. So. One of them uh, we need to put on this new jacuzzi tub. So this one I'm going to be using a GFI breaker down in the basement. And then for the wall outlets, we're using just a standard GFI wall outlet. And uh, then we're daisy chaining an additional outlet off that. So I'll show you exactly what that's all about. And we'll start off with our, our hot tub first here and get that breaker installed. Okay, let's start off with a real basic overview and real simplified overview of AC and DC current. So DC is found in things like cars where you do be at 12 volts and you have a positive and a negative going directly to whatever device you're trying to power. In the house, however, it runs on AC, which is alternating current. And a simplified way of looking at that is basically your hot comes in goes through the fixture or appliance and then comes back out through the neutral and then you have a ground for uh, protection. So let's look at how a GFI breaker addresses the protection of those circuits. So here's the GFI breaker and I drew up a little basic schematic here to give you an idea of how it works. Just like any normal breaker, you have a hot lead coming in and it is a, this particular one's a 20 amp circuit so it's going to blow when that load goes over 20 amps. But it also has this little coiled up lead here and this takes the neutral feed from your panel and goes into the breaker as well. So the output now is your typical hot going into the redneck hot tub or whatever device you have over here and I just noticed my arrows are actually backwards on this neutral um, so the return from that neutral also feeds through this breaker and inside of this breaker is a very simple circuit that is monitoring the, the amount of current coming out of this breaker as well as the current returning on the neutral and it is constantly measuring those two to make sure they match if they do not match for any reason, it will trip immediately. So some of the reasons that could cause that is you could have a ground out, some leakage through ground. So some of this you know, hot feed is now coming back through the ground line. Well, that breaker is going to trip. The other issue would be say somebody or say there's a problem with this hot tub and your hot lead is now leaking into the water, which then goes through the body and fries a guy that kind of looks like he probably deserves it but uh, that will notice the difference between those two and it will break the circuit there as well very important feature to have so if somebody were to throw a hair dryer in the tub with our uh, redneck here um, before that had a chance to actually do any damage to him, this circuit will automatically break because it's seeing the higher load on the hot line versus the return line and, uh, and saves you from having a fried redneck. So great little system, very simple. And even the test button here, when you see that test button, when you push that button, all that is doing is of grounding out the hot to the neutral and it tests the circuit to show you that it is actually working. So now that we have a, a real basic understanding of what this thing's doing, let's go and get one installed. So here's our GFI breaker. As you can see, we have our neutral supply lead here. And then on where it would normally be your single output, you have two here and one will have a little white dot on it indicating that's your neutral uh, load. And then your hot load, <laughs> your hot load is on this side here. So we are going to drop this guy right in. Actually, yeah, we're gonna drop it right in. Make sure we are off. 
And here is my supply coming down, or sorry, my feed coming down from the hot tub upstairs. We're gonna tuck that off to the side for now. And we're gonna get our neutral connected. up I'm gonna connect the hut and the neutral I actually have to extend a little bit because it used to be tied into the bar up here and uh, obviously now we need to get down to the GFI breaker so in a perfect world you wouldn't need to do what I'm doing here and put in a, making an extension on this neutral but uh, we don't live in a perfect world and sometimes this stuff happens where you're in this spot and there's really no easy way to, you know, I can't go and run another 100 foot line back up through two flights of stairs and it'd just be a nightmare. So with that said, this is perfectly legal. It is to code. There's nothing wrong with doing it. I just don't like it because it's not, it's not pretty and it's not clean, but um, you know, from a safety aspect, there's no concern with this whatsoever, and it does happen. But I just like to have all my wires nice and clean, and this isn't this isn't real pretty. But it is safe, and at the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Make our little bend, cut. I'm gonna link in the description these Klein cutters, my favorites. I love these little guys. I'm gonna tuck that behind the bundle so I don't have to look at it, and it won't bother me. <laughs> down the row when I open the panel again. All right. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna throw some power on it and see what happens. Good to go. I was just thinking, we didn't even talk about what GFI means or, or what the acronym GFI stands for. GFI stands for good fucking idea because when you're messing with electricity and water, it's a good fucking idea to put in a GFI outlet. <laughs> Just kidding. It's ground fault interrupt, but I like good fucking idea because it's funnier. So this is a GFI outlet. And what you can do with these guys is at the start of the series of whatever outlets you have, you install this as the first outlet in the chain and you run your line, which is on the bottom half of this particular outlet, but it can move, it can be, I've seen it on both sides. Your, your, uh, your hut and your neutral go into the line side, and then out of the load side, you can go to any downstream outlets that you have in that, on that chain, and all of those downstream outlets will be protected by this one outlet. So you don't need to buy more than one unless you've got multiple circuits going in a particular area or in two different rooms. As long as you have one as your first outlet and you wire it appropriately, which is not piggybacking off of this terminal, but using the load half of that outlet, that one GFI outlet will protect all circuits on that circuit. So it's got a nice little touch panel. Actually, I'm gonna link in the description this jacuzzi tub too, because it the thing's pretty freaking well built. That's a good sign. Uh, let's do that. Oh, we got lights. Let's see bubbles. And then the real party trick. Check that out. How cool is that? Got three foot waterfalls on both sides of the tub. And the thing I really love about this tub is that it's longer than most. It's uh, Long enough for me to actually get in there at six foot two and lay straight out and not have my knees sticking out. And the real reason I got this is it's going to be awesome for my back. But my wife likes to uh, likes to do her tub stuff too, so that'll be good. 
Of course, there's gonna be a TV going down on this end here, built right into the wall. And we're gonna put a nice sound system in the shower itself. Um, yeah, this is freaking awesome. All right, well, I'd say that's just about going to wrap this video up. As always, I appreciate you all watching. If you have any concerns, questions, comments, or criticisms, throw them down in the comment section. And uh, Happy New Year once again, and have a great day.